welcome back to my channel. As many of you wanted to know which software I use for my video editings, here is the answer. I use Final Cut Pro X which is an Apple product for professional video editing. But it only works on Apple devices. The Windows alternative could be Adobe Premiere Pro. I get questions about my workflow of video editing, especially how I cut the video clips to the beats. So I thought I will make an easy and quick tutorial about it which you can try by yourself. So without wasting any extra minute, let's jump onto it. Oh, by the way, one more thing. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell notification for updates. I'm thinking of uploading new tutorials frequently. Import your video and audio clips to Final Cut Pro. Open an empty project and drag one of your video clips to the timeline. You can choose the range of the video you want to drag by pressing I and O on the keyboard. Now select your audio file Drag and place it beneath your video clip. Choose a starting point of your audio. Now press the B button on your keyboard to activate the blade tool and make a cut in the audio file. Press A to come back to the selection tool. Select the first part of the audio and delete it. Drag the remaining audio to the start. Listen to the audio to choose the end point. Press B again for the blade tool and make a cut. Now delete the unwanted audio and also the blank grey part. Reduce the volume of the actual video by dragging the volume bar to infinity. Now we are going to make use of the markers. Go to the start of the timeline, select the audio and press the space bar on the keyboard to play. Listen to the beats and press M on your keyboard whenever you want to place the marker. Once done, now it's time to arrange the video clips along the markers. Go to the end of the first clips and drag it to the left to reduce the length. Now start bringing other clips to the timeline and fit them within the marker gaps. I have increased the speed of the process to save time. It's done now. Optionally, you can go to the effects tab on the right, select audio and drag and drop bass enhancer to your audio clip. This will enhance the bass in the audio. Add the audio fade in and fade out for a smooth audio in and out transition. After color correction, color grading and adding some more transition, this is the final result one more time. 